Hey guys, my name's Colin. This is Colin Talks Crypto. I'm going to give you a blazing fast video on how to recover your lost EOS private keys. Make sure you only go to eosauthority.com slash lost key. Do not get scammed. To do this process, you need to meet all these requirements. If you do not meet these requirements, you cannot use this process. So read them carefully. First thing we're going to do is click add account at the top here, then click account name. Now you're going to type in your 12 letter EOS Genesis account name and click add account. It'll find that account. And when you scroll down, you'll see it listed with the Ethereum public key that you use to register your EOS Genesis account at the time of the ICO. Now you're going to paste the new public key that you generated hopefully offline. If you click submit signed message, it's going to ask you to use MetaMask. So for this demonstration, we're going to be using my ether wallet to sign the message. So copy the message, go to myetherwallet.com. Now I want to make a quick note here for Ledger Nano S hardware wallet users. You must be using the latest version of the Ethereum app on your ledger. Now go back to myetherwallet.com, click access my wallet and click on, for my case, hardware wallet, click on ledger and click choose a hardware button at the bottom. Click next. Now select your Ethereum address that was linked to your Genesis account and you saw this Ethereum address earlier. Click access my wallet. Now click sign message. Sorry, it's off the screen there, guys. And paste the message that you want to sign. This was mine. I'm blocking out the sensitive parts. Click sign. And it will allow you to sign this message using your Ledger Nano S or whatever wallet you're using. Now I'm approving the transaction on my Ledger Nano S. And there's the signed message. So click copy to put that in the clipboard and go back to the EOS authority page. And you're going to paste that text into the signed transaction field. Make sure that both the message and signature fields contain the EOS public key that you want to be using. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, click submit signed message and transaction success. The transaction is confirmed. So when you refresh the page, you will now see that the account completed the first step of the automated Genesis loss key process. It is now on a 30 day waiting period and you can enter an email address to be notified when you're ready to go. That's it guys. That's all there is to it. Genesis account owners can now regain access to their accounts for the first time in just about a year since the launch. Please share this video with anyone who's lost access to their EOS Genesis account and who qualifies for the process. And please vote for my proxy, Colin T. Crypto. That's the Colin Talks Crypto voting proxy. Thanks very much, guys, and have a great day.